Well, you guys have been wondering what's going on with the BMW. It's uh, still here. Yep, still here, but it is sold. Sorry to say, no death by boot on this one. I guess the saying is true. There's an ass for every seat. Yeah, I kind of figured there'd be somebody out there that would want this car. Um, wouldn't take much to uh, get it going. You know, the thing runs and dries pretty good. And uh, it's not your average uh, junk that I get, you know, just Ford Taurus or Chevy Cavalier or something. I don't like it, but somebody does. So I got uh, got more than I would get if I scrapped it out. Yeah, the guy was just looking for uh, some tires, and then uh, he came down and uh, took a look and said, what's up with the whole car? So I uh, started it up for him, and uh, he made me an offer on it, and I could not refuse. Who doesn't love cash in their pocket? I know I do. And I also have a small update for you on the, uh, the old step side project, and uh, I'm going to show you what's been going on with that and uh, what's in store for it well spring isn't here yet but it's close and uh, once the weather gets nice we're gonna start working on this thing and, uh, still gotta trailer it up power wash it that yeah, was nice yesterday uh, in the 50s, sun was out, and uh, I was driving around in the truck, window down, t-shirt on. It was great. Today it's freezing. It's like 30 or something out. Touch of class. Whoop! What happened in here? So as I said uh, before, the engine had to come out because what has to be done is have to change that whole front end out because it's all rotted. And I have a whole nother front end from it cut out uh, from a junkyard truck all ready to go in. Um, so it's just going to be a matter of... Uh, getting a set of torches or something and uh, just burning this thing right out of here rolling the other one under and uh, once that's in there you'd think a lot differently of the truck because it's it's solid everywhere else um, that's that's just the worst part of it you can see the uh, control arms are really thin all rotted through but that other front end like I said has everything on it so uh, you know it'll be a little bit of a pain in the ass for a swap but uh, I think the truck's worth it uh, some other things I found out about it are obvious it needs uh, brakes all the way around going to need some lines and stuff like that. Well, I pulled the rear end cover too and it does have an Auburn Posi unit in it and uh, it's a nice tight Posi too. It's got highway gears but those can be changed. I did uh, cleaned out the bed, all the leaves and stuff and the wood's all rotted so that's not that bad though. The, the metal strips there that go in the middle, those are all solid. So just some uh, new planks of wood and fenders really aren't even that bad. I do have those nice new ones. Those are actually GM fenders. They're new. They've just been sitting outside. But uh, I don't know. Once I get it going and stuff, I might just 
give those a quick coat of black and just run it. Not really worried about the body too much uh, to get it going, you know. Just that one door, and I, you know, even that's, you know, I'd still drive it like that, but I do have a perfect door from that blue Suburban, so. Old Bobby Boy covered up the tack for me. It's a $200 tack, so. Not too bad. A couple of rips in the seat, but, you know, it does have the slider and stuff in it. No power windows or anything. No AC. Got a nice tape player in it. Some spare parts in here. Rocket panels are really solid. Cab corners. So I haven't really decided on uh, what drivetrain is going to go in this, but there's a lot of different choices I have. Uh, I've always kind of wanted a step side with a big block turbo 400, and I do have that. Still got to rebuild it and stuff, but um, but on the other hand, uh, the small block that came out of this turned out to be a really nice motor, and uh, we're about to go inside, and I can show you that. It's too goddamn windy out here anyway started cleaning it up a little bit and uh, as I as I start to uh, take a look at it it appears uh, that guy wasn't lying there's was a lot of stuff done to this motor and I did find out that this engine was actually built by a local speed shop uh, the guy passed away the name of the speed shop was RPM anyone from around remotely this area Damp compressor. As I was saying, anyone uh, from around the area would uh, knows what RPM is. Um, but it's weird because the guy that built this passed away, and the guy that owned this motor and the truck, he passed away three days after we uh, removed it from his yard. And uh, he also owned that uh, yellow 69. DZ Camaro that I have videos of. Um, he just wanted uh, a friend of mine that has a shop. He he was gonna. That's who has it now, and he was gonna fix it so he could get one last ride in it. But he went to sleep on Sunday night and didn't wake up. So uh, yeah, it's too bad. But now his uh, his wife's getting everything. So. She wants to drive the car a little bit for a year, and then she might sell it. But uh, as far as the truck and stuff goes, um, that was just considered something that was sitting in the yard, and they just want no part of. So anyway, um, so the first thing we noticed is uh, we got the numbers off the the block and. Noticed right away the old uh, 5.7 marking right on the block. So then we uh, got the number. It's a uh, 77.79 4 bolt 350 block. And then uh, we started looking at the heads, pulled the valve cover off, and whoops, we got some crane roller rockers in here. It's got mainly head bolts in it, which uh, gives you, uh, which kind of tells you as you see this stuff along the way that this this motor really was built, and uh, somebody has definitely did a lot to it. So uh, started looking at the heads and saying, "There's a W," and then uh, there's a SR. So what the hell? I remember those heads from something. Yeah, that Nova I had had World Products heads on it. That's what these are. But that had the Sportsman 2s. This has the SR Torquers. So those heads are about uh, 800 bucks, I think, and that's with nothing. Just, you know, bare heads. 
and this has got the nice springs and um, I'm sure it has nice valves and stuff in it but uh, obviously I don't really want to take the motor apart as uh, by doing some investigation on the uh, paperwork and stuff for this it seems it only probably has about 10,000 miles on it since it was built but it just sat in that truck for many years so I mean knowing, uh, knowing that speed shop and knowing that the guy that owned the truck really money was no object to him this thing's probably got lots of money into it and the bottom end's probably built and most likely has you know forged pistons and rods and all that stuff too so looks like I got myself a pretty nice little small block now I just gotta figure out what to put it in and uh, it used to have the uh, B&M supercharger on it so it's still got the little uh, tensioner pulley here it was sitting so long it's like hard to turn and uh, the extra pulley right there for the belt and of course I ended up with the uh, the B&M supercharger itself these things are going for like nine hundred a thousand used in this condition on eBay uh, but unless money gets really tight I really don't want to sell it because it's probably the only chance I'll ever get to to get a supercharger unless I win the lottery and I have uh, new gaskets for that that came with it or in the truck and um, all the other stuff that goes along with it I also built a base to my uh, my engine test stand that I was going to uh, talking about building got the basic platform laid out the casters on there everything there so far is free so the only thing I really paid for was the paint so um, depending on what I do I might end up mounting this on there and uh, playing around a little bit after I get it all cleaned up painted and uh, that way I can fire it up let it run a little longer than uh, than I did in the truck so that's my update for now uh, I'm sorry that uh, I could not kill the BMW I wanted to believe me but uh, you can't argue with cash right in hand so uh, move on to the next one I got my eye on a couple other cars so uh, try to get something to kill soon and uh, springtime's almost here be a lot more going on and uh, as far as uh, you know stuff in my personal life going on I'm just trying to keep busy and uh, I do appreciate you know everyone's comments and help and uh, outside of YouTube and in YouTube so um, maybe I'll make some vlog videos and stuff you know if you I don't know you guys let me know if you want to hear about you know some stuff like that or if you just don't want to hear about it that's fine um, but uh, as always thanks for watching and I'll see you on the streets <laughs>